Governor Malloy has recently cut state funding for many Connecticut cities and towns, especially regarding education. What repercussions will this have on our town, and do you have a plan to resolve these issues? Do you think Bethel can survive these cuts? We're basically in education with about eight million. Oh yes, I know. I'm aware of the figures. Now, the word survive is an interesting word because we're going to survive. We're but not in gonna, what condition? That's different than survive. Mm. Survive. If we don't survive, we'll just, you know, go into dust and Bethel will be no more. Okay, so, pick your own word. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll say, will we be able to sustain our current uh, state and quality with that cut? Well, obviously, it's it's going to have repercussions, serious repercussions. I think that the state of Connecticut, Governor, Governor Malloy, and wh whoever else is, is collaborating with his schemes is being completely manipulative. I don't, everyone's saying that, um, oh, he won't really do it. He won't. Who knows? We were promised a lot of things. We were promised a budget, didn't happen. We were promised that, you know, the pension funds would be funded. Hasn't happened. I don't believe anything they say. So um, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. But here's the problem. I, three years ago, I made a presentation to the Board of Ed about this very topic about cost sharing, aid, special ed, that we needed to fight back they needed to fight back on a lot of things, unfunded mandates and um, the cost sharing and special ed where they would only receive 70% of, the, of what was promised to them. That's been going on for years. At one point, I wondered why they didn't just consider that 70%, their 100%, because they were never getting the 30%. Now all this is unfair, all this is unfair. And the Board of Ed was always talking about how unfair it was. And I know that certain people like Larry Krabis and others were trying to effect change in Hartford, but there was no mobilized or galvanized effort. Now, because $8 million is being pulled and we are down to goose egg, now everybody's motivated. And I tried to, you know, close that barn door before the horse got out. I went to the Board of Ed, I said, look, is there any way that you can uh, galvanize or that someone could take this on where they would work with um, a common database, maybe boilerplate letters to representatives because people aren't going to know, you know, hey, you're not giving us money. I mean, people don't know exactly what to put in a letter. I presented it and that was it. Mm -hmm. nobody, nobody wanted to take it on. I think, I think we need to mobilize before the horse gets out of the barn.